In this lesson, I will tell you about circle and arc command of AutoCAD. You can start circle command from draw panel of home tab. When you click on this small arrow, the circle flyout will appear which will list all the circle commands present in AutoCAD. Let's first start with a basic circle which can be drawn with center and radius. Now when we select circle, you'll notice that command line prompts for a center point of circle. So let's click anywhere in the drawing area to specify the center point. Now the command line changes and it now prompts you to specify radius of circle. So let's enter a radius value for the circle. For this situation, I'm using a radius of five units. So type five and press enter. So this will make a circle with radius of five units, which is very large. Now let's go to this circle flyout again and select this center diameter circle. Now again in this case, I'm going to select a random point for the center. The AutoCAD command line is prompting you to specify the diameter of this circle. So let's enter a diameter value of 5 units again and press enter. So this time the circle is made with a radius of 2.5 units or a diameter of 5 units. Now let's erase both of these circles. Again go to the circle flyout and select this two point circle. Using this two point circle you can create a circle that can be made using diametrically opposite points. I'll explain it using this geometry here. So I'll start this circle with this first point and now I'll click at this second point. Now in this situation, this circle is made on this line in such a way that the endpoints of this line are on the diametrically opposite sides of this circle. In a similar way, you can create another circle with three point as well. So from this circle flyout, select this three point and now you need to specify three different points for making the circle. Now let's select this first point, and then second point and the third point. And in this situation, you'll see that this circle will pass through all these three points. Now let's remove these two circles. We don't need them now. And move to the circle flyout and select the tangent tangent radius circle. For making this circle, we need to specify two geometries on which the circle will be tangent and then we need to specify the radius. So let's select this first line as the first tangential geometry. Now select the second line on which the circle will again be tangential and now we need to specify the radius. So let's specify a radius value of two units and press enter. So here we have the circle and this circle is tangent to this vertical line and also to this horizontal line and also the radius of this circle is two units. Now what if we want to make a circle in such a way that it is tangent to three different geometries. So let's zoom this area and click on this circle flyout and select this tri tangent circle which is tangent 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 here. Now click here and select this first line then the second line and now click on this circle and you'll notice that a small circle will be made in such a way that it is tangent to all the three geometries. In a similar way, we can create different types of arc using the arc flyout from draw panel of home tab. So here we have this arc. Now let's click on this arc flyout and you'll see list of different options that are available with the arc command. Let's start with this three point arc. So for making this three point arc, you need to specify three different points. And here in this geometry, we have these three points. So let's start with this first point, then the second point, and the third point and now this arc will pass through all the three points. Let's select this arc and erase it. Now let's click on this arc flyout again and select this start center end arc. Now we need to first specify the start point for this arc. So let's select this point as the start point. Now we need to specify the center point. So let's make this as the center point. And now you'll notice that our arc starts from the starting point which we have already specified and this arc will be made in anti-clockwise direction. So we can now specify the end point of this arc as this point or any other point and this arc will be made. But right now you are making this arc in anti-clockwise direction. If you want to reverse the direction of this arc then press and hold control key on keyboard and now you'll notice that this arc direction is reversed and it's making it in clockwise direction. So you can make it in either direction. So let's release this control key 
and we'll make this arc in anti-clockwise direction. So let's click at this point and it will make an arc in anti-clockwise direction. Let's now delete this arc as well. Let's go to this arc flyout again and select the third option which is start center angle. Now we need to specify the start point for this arc. So in this case again I'm using this as the start point. Now we need to specify the center point which is this one and now again in anti-clockwise direction you can see that this arc is being made but now we need to specify the angle or the included angle for this arc. So let's enter an angle of 30 degrees and press enter. So for entering this angle you don't need to specify angle symbol directly enter the value 30 40 or whatever angle you want to enter and press enter. So here we have a small arc. Now what the included angle was. So if you create a line which is joins the end point of this arc with the center point of arc then this included angle which is in between these two lines and which is joining the end point of this arc is 30 degrees. So let's now erase the geometries which we have made. So let's look at the other kind of arc which is very frequently used. So when you click on this arc flyout you'll notice here start and radius arc. So for this you need to specify the start point which is this in this case this point then you need to specify the end point and now this arc will be made in between these two points and then you need to specify the radius for this arc so you, as you can see that when i move my cursor the arc disappears at a certain point so this is the point where the radius is not long enough to make this arc so we'll enter a radius of two units in this case again and press enter so here we have this arc from these two endpoints with a radius of two units. Now we have made this arc. Let's look at the last type of arc without deleting it. So let's click on this flyout, select this continue. And when you'll click on continue, you'll see that this arc now follows the endpoint of the initial arc. And we are able to make this arc in such a way that this arc is tangent to the arc which we have previously made. And now if you click on this continue again from the arc flyout, You'll notice that another arc now follows the previously made arc and again this arc is tangent to the previous arc. So this was all about circle and arc tools of AutoCAD. In the next video, I will tell you about rectangle command of AutoCAD.